Hello everyone, today I just want to give a quick tutorial on how you can make this gold vintage foam look in Premiere Pro for absolutely free. There's no external plugins, it's all just in Premiere Pro. Obviously Premiere Pro is not a free software, but if you have Premiere Pro handy, this is a method that you can use to get that full foam look without any paid plugin. So as you can see here, I have this nice shot here. And what I want to do is two things. I want to get the look of the foam and I want to get the effects of the foam. So the look will basically be the overall color grade and the effects will be the halation, the bloom, the grain. And that's basically what I'm going to do in the two different parts. So the first thing I want to do is the look. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the Lumetri color section, which is basically where you can do a color correction and color grade. So if you don't have it, I have it here already. If you don't have it, you can go to window and then you can go here to Lumetri color and you can click it and enable it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to basic correction over here. Let me click on the clip and I'm going to add a bit more contrast because as you can see, I, I shot in Sony S-Log3. Um, so it's quite flat and you want to basically correct and bring it back to kind of in the norm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the contrast a bit, bring down the highlights and then I'm going to close basic correction. I'm going to go to creative and here I am going to up the saturation but I'm not going to go all the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to up the saturation a bit and then I'm going to take vibrance and I'm going to make that almost all the way. Because what I found is when you use saturation and vibrance together, more so vibrance, it kind of replicates the foam color science a bit more. Um, I'm not an expert, so I'm just, this is just my experimentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the saturation and then I'm going to play way more with the vibrance. And as you can see, uh, this is not really the Kodak gold look that I'm going for, uh, the saturation and the vibrance. I'm going to go to curves. I'm going to go to hue versus hue, which is where you can change the colors that you like in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to identify the area, the color space that I want to edit, and I'm going to take the yellow and I'm just going to bring it to gold. You don't want to push it too much, but as you can see, I'm already getting that pastel kind of look. I like this orange yellowish color here because it's not like a strong deviance from the nice warm look. This is a nice break of color here, the blue, but I'm going to keep this because it kind of matches. And the green here is fine, it's not too over the top. Let me edit it just a little bit. Here we go. Let me go. But as you can see, I like I like this. Uh, it's, it, as you can see, it's kind of all working together nicely to get that gold look. This is like the building blocks. This is the start. So now what you're going to do, you want to create the bloom. As you can see with the highlights of like foam bloom, it's quite dreamy. And I like to go over the top of that. So what I'm going to do is to create the bloom. I want to separate the highlights and then add a blur or kind of a Gaussian blur effect to them. So it looks like that, you know, that effect with the foam where the crystals are affected by light and then it kind of spreads to other crystals. So it's kind of an imperfection of foam, but we learn to actually love it. To do that, you're going to hold Alt. You're going to duplicate your footage by dragging. You're going to put that on top of the main footage. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Effects and you're going to search Luma Key. My mic is blocking the keyboard, but okay. As you can see here, uh, in keying, you're going to go to Luma Key, drag it onto the top layer. Let me just get rid of the bottom one so you can clearly see this effect. You're going to scroll down from the FX controls window and you're going to go down. And you can see Luma Key, you're going to take the cutoff and you're going to play with it until it only identifies your highlights. As you can see here, it's only getting the highlights. I'm going to get it a bit more. I think that works. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, the affix. You're going to search for Gaussian below. And you're going to drag that on top. And I'm going to make it the blurriness 25. And then you're going to take your main clip and you're going to drag it back under. And as you can see, it immediately gives this, gives this nice dreamy effect. I, I I love bloom so much, way more than uh, like the normal glow effect. So let me show you what it looks like on and off. Let me zoom in to show you. Uh, just look at this area over here. Just look at that, it's beautiful. Okay, so we have our look and we have our bloom effect and now I want to add that nice red halation. I find with this method the halation isn't perfect, 
but it's a nice compromise if you don't want to spend too much money on professional plugins. So to do that, we are going to go create a new adjustment layer. Okay, I'm going to drag this on top of both of all of both um, footage layers, and then I'm going to click on the adjustment layer. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to I'm going to search channel blur. I'm going to drag it onto the adjustment layer. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see um, the effect that this has. Just look over here by the highlight. I'm going to scroll down to the effects controls until I find channel blur. And I'm going to go to the red blurriness. And I'm just going to move that up. And let's make it 15. I don't know if YouTube allows you to see this, but after you've kind of edited the red blurriness, it kind of adds a blue or a greenish hue as well. So to get rid of that, you go to blend mode and you change the mode from normal to lighten. And now we just have the red. It's not very apparent in this scene, but in certain scenes it will be quite apparent. I'll blow up a scene now on screen where you can see I use the same method and it looked way more apparent. It's just this scene in particular didn't really show. Uh, let me show you with and without. This is with. This is without. So now I'm going to add one of my favorite parts of film, which is the noise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to go back here, make a new adjustment layer, drag this on top, and I'm going to go to effects, and I'm going to search noise HLS auto. I'm going to drag that onto the top adjustment layer. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can really see the effects now. As you can see, when you drag it onto the adjustment layer, it doesn't really do anything at first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to noise, change it from uniform to grain, and by lightness, which is where you, you kind of show the noise, it's quite heavy, so don't go to like 25 or anything unless you want to go very, very noisy. I'm going to go to a safe 7. Finally, it's done. I'm going to go to full screen mode, and I'm going to go to fit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finesse the noise a bit more. So I'm going to go to, I don't know, maybe 10. And as you can see, look at the corner here. It's quite nice. Uh, and also because it's noise HLS auto, it does animate. I don't know if my computer can show you this in real time. Let me see. Um, it's dying, but I can show you. If we, if we look over in this section here, you can see how the noise animates. In my opinion, it's not as good as DaVinci Resolve's. I do prefer DaVinci Resolve in all aspects. As you can see, Premiere Pro really sucks at handling anything. This computer that I have is quite powerful. But for some reason, Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects, yeah, the crashes and all of that. I really don't like Adobe, the Adobe Suite, the whole Adobe Suite. But someone did ask me, how do I make this like a film look in Premiere Pro? So I decided actually that's an interesting challenge. Okay, so I'm going to make another adjustment layer and put it under all the other adjustment layers. Um, wait, 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 wait. And now I'm going to go to Lumetri and I'm going to go to maybe Creative and I'm going to up the vibrance a bit more. Okay, so the final effect would be to crop the sides because I like a square format. So if you want to do that as well, you can make another adjustment layer, uh, another one, and drag that on top of everything. Go to Effects and then search for Crop. I need to really fix this mic setup because this is really blocking my view. And then you're going to go to the left side, 12.5. And then the same for the right, 12, sorry, 0.5. There we go. i make this. And yeah, that's how I really created this nostalgic vintage film look in Premiere Pro for free without any external plugins. And yeah, thank you for your time.